Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog coming to you today. Talking about network, network, network. People love to think about networking as a way to just run around passing out business cards and collecting them. No, network is actually giving a little value and people give you value, right? So essentially, you just send out a quick email. Hey, I love your work. Love what you're doing. I think the message is positive. This is how it's influenced me. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please contact me. Let me know. Blah, 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 right? So you could put in the bottom of the email your name, your email address, kind of your website, and kind of a way that you could possibly help them, whether it's website design or whatever. Uh, in the email, you could also say, hey, you know, <clears throat> know you're busy, know you're an important person. Hey, if anything I could ever do design-wise to help you for free, I would love to do it. For free or for hire. I would love to do it. Boom, done. Simple emails. And sometimes people make it so very difficult. They're like, I know people who won't apply for jobs and won't apply for certain positions in companies because they're like, I don't know how to do that. Well, that's where your network comes into play. Where you have other people in your network you could talk to, ask, advise about, or be advisor to about a certain thing. Um, I had a friend who went to get a marketing position, yet he did not know how to do websites, right? He did not know how to build them, uh, how to do a lot of stuff with websites. So one, you would ask for training, is what I would tell people to do always. Two, find someone in your network who knows how to do websites. Someone maybe who's an up and coming artist, an up and coming designer, who needs his portfolio built big. And say, listen, I need you to help me with some of this work. And you have to, you know, and let's say it's because it's his job, say, listen, you're gonna have to donate the work, donate the work. And so at that point, you have that one guy who doesn't know how to do websites, other guy upkeeping the website, kind of getting the name recognition out there for saying, I do help with the upkeep of this company's website. And so you have to be careful with that. Definitely there's some rules and stipulations, but it, it's a very great way to build, solve two problems in one, you know, two or three problems all together build your lack of knowledge he can teach you along the way also it builds his portfolio he can actually leave from you and go to other companies and say yeah I, I helped their managing or marketing director with the website pretty simple task um, another way your network can actually build is it's called a reach up technique it's very simple where people kind of reach up to someone who's higher than them and get information and knowledge and skills so definitely what you do is you write down 10 to 20 people you know you would love to be in your network you would love to be involved with connected with have deep conversations with and then you go out and pursue those relationships via the email method via the phone calls via the uh, exchange of value there's a lot of ways to grow your network in a way that's reasonable uh, a way that gets you where you would like to be in life and gets and helps you grow as well as provide value for people that you want to interact with uh, this is Erica off the Classy Climb blog. You can reach me at Erica S. Williams, Erica S. Williams on Twitter. Um, and definitely, you guys, reach out. Send me some comments. Let me know some messages. Uh, give me some of the questions or feedback you want for some videos in the future. All right, guys, have a great day.